Hey there, welcome to this very special video. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where someone will say something like this. Because so many of my followers have asked for it, here it is. I'm going to do a studio tour of all of the gear I use. Now, well, I don't have enough followers for that. No one's actually asked me. But I'm going to do it anyway. Show you the gear I use, so maybe down the road when somebody is interested, they'll have a video to watch. So let's get started. All right, let's start with this guy. Ibanez Prestige RG2550 from, I don't know what the year is, 2004, five, something like that. It was originally blue. I sanded it down. It was a raw finish for many years. Took it apart. Um, everything's worn out on it. Uh, and I recently grabbed a spray can, painted it blue again, put it back together. And here it is, RG2550. Uh, frets need replacing. I'll hopefully do that sometime this summer. Um, I have electrical tape. I don't know if you can see that on there. Holding the tone control in place because the pick guard was broken out. Uh, DiMarzio Evolution humbuckers, neck and bridge. You know, other than that, just your standard RG. Quite beat up though. All right, moving on. The next guy here is very cool looking. Carvin DC 600, the spalt maple top, thinner neck profile. Other than that, everything on it is standard. I did say Carvin, but they are now called Kiesel. And actually the tuners here say Kiesel on the back. And I had, I. I believe it was like the year before they switched back to the Kiesel name is when I got this. So there you go. You know, uh, just a, I'm not sure there's anything else on it other than their standard features. But very cool guitar. I love the neck through, of course, because you can reach way up high here on the, those notes. It as well needs a, a fret dress and a setup, just like the Ibanez. But it's been a great guitar for the last, whatever it is, five years. Okay. Of course, back here, you can see it's a Warwick bass, Warwick five-string bass. It's not mine. I bought it from a friend for when I need to do a bass line. Very heavy. That's it. Just a bass. And then the acoustic here. It's Martin. OMC 160 GTE. Love this guitar. I got it because it sounded great and it's got a kind of a wider, thinner neck profile, like I prefer you know, on my electrics. And also, I love the wood on it. You'll see this rosewood strip in the middle, and the back and sides are ovuncle. Hope I pronounced that right. Guess what? It needs new frets too. But other than that, it's been a great guitar. You know, just love the sound. A lot of bottom end, so when I do record it, I gotta you know, cut a lot of the lows. But just been a great guitar, solid guitar, especially here in Alberta, where our weather is crazy, humid, dry, warm, cold. Yeah. So, anyhow, those are my guitars. I don't have a huge collection. I just have two electrics, an acoustic, and a borrowed bass. Uh, oh, I, I use the Dario strings on all of them. Why? I don't know. I like them. I like the feel. I like the sound. Just always used them. I've tried other ones, but I keep coming back to those. Again, nothing too fancy. As far as picks go, Black Jazz 3. Very standard. I've gone through many picks through the years but I keep coming back to this guy for the last year or so I've been using the John Petrucci signature which is like a Jazz 3 a little bigger a little thicker I came back to this one again just recently the odd time I'll use the red one red Jazz 3 so I find the tone slightly warmer but I Jazz 3 guy Love it. The odd time, if I'm in the mood, I will actually grab a Tortex 1.14, the purpley colored one, just because it's got a very 
warm sound. Not as articulate as the Jazz 3, but when I'm in the mood, I'll grab it and go. What else can I tell you? That's that's guitars. Very straightforward. Um, I don't use any tube amps anymore. I use strictly modeling. My main modeler is a Boss GT100. I know, way behind the times. Uh, I'd love to have another tube amp up here in Canada with the exchange rate. A crazy expensive. For just a head, it would cost $2,500 to $3,000. $1,000 for a cab. Maybe one day. But for now, I use modeling because it's uh, convenient and cheap. That's my guitar setup. I'm going to turn the camera on now. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the recording setup I use. So let's go to it. All right. So for the rest of the gear, again, it's very, very simple setup. You can see here off to my left, Yamaha NS10s, old, beat up. And you'll probably notice too that the writing just below the tweeter there is vertical as opposed to horizontal. Now what I understand is this is one of the few models they ever made with the writing in that direction. I don't know. I bought them and I still use them. I've had those, well, they were used when I got them and I got them in 2002. Okay, and you'll see right here, Audio Technica M50s. This mic here is the one that's picking up my voice. It's a, the cheapest mic you can get. And I use it just, just for my voice. Uh, down there, you can see the black computer tower. I'm a PC guy now. Not because I have a preference, but because that old iMac died. It's from 2007. And I realized I could build a Windows machine cheaper and more powerful than buying a new iMac. Uh, I don't get the four 5K screen, no big deal. What else? Uh, my interface here, this guy here, is a PreSonus Studio 26C. I do use Studio One. I used to be a Pro Tools guy up until last year, but you know, just like the iMac, it was getting too expensive. So I switched. It all, it all works. You know, it's, they're just tools. Everybody's got a preference and opinion. What do you do? You go with what you, what you have, what you can afford. What else do we have here? For doing these videos, again, a very simple, low-cost setup. In addition to my very cheap microphone for my voice, the camera here is just a Logitech webcam. C930E or something like that. Uh, I use OBS software recording the video and the different audio sources what else can i tell you keeping it simple and so hopefully you enjoyed this brief little rundown of what i got going on here we'll see you next time take care